Hello everyone, this is K9, back with another tutorial for you. Today I will be demonstrating how to encrypt your files and drives with Veracrypt. I think it's safe to assume that everyone has something they would like to encrypt for safety, whether it's bank records, passwords, or maybe even some other things. Thankfully, protecting your personal and business information is easy with a free encryption program called Veracrypt. So originally, many people would have suggested using TrueCrypt, but unfortunately, because the developers stopped supporting it, the program is quickly becoming outdated and no longer includes security updates. If you were to visit their page, you would see the suggestion to use the included with Windows tool called BitLocker. Now, this is actually a great tool to use, except that it only comes with their premium models of Windows. So for most average consumers, myself included, it's not an option. So today I will be showing you Veracrypt. It's an open source alternative to TrueCrypt. So Veracrypt is simple to use and the encryption is both transparent and done in real time. Uh, you can use it to create a, a password protected virtual encrypted disk that can store your sensitive files and folders and it can even encrypt entire disk partitions or external storage devices such as USB flash drives or external hard drives. So what's required for this one? One, patience. Two, willingness to learn. And of course, Veracrypt. So if you haven't done so already, download and install the latest Veracrypt package for your operating system. This program works on Windows, Mac, OS, and Linux. And the links to find Veracrypt will be in the description. So once you have Veracrypt installed, go ahead and open the program. This program is very powerful and we won't be going into most of its features in this video. If it is something you would like to see, be sure to like the video and comment below. Alright, so with Veracrypt open, we want to click the Create Volume button. In the wizard that pops up, there are three choices to choose from. Create a file container, which is a virtual container for our files. Uh, encrypting of a non-system drive, so that's an external drive. Um, encrypt a system partition or your entire system drive. Now caution with this option, as if you lose the password you encrypt it with, you'll be locked out of your computer and your files. I highly do not recommend using this option unless you need a permanent lockdown operating system. Um, but for that, I would even suggest using a different, um, you know, different setup using Tails. Um, if you want to see a tutorial on Tails, uh, let me know in the comments and I might do a video on it. So for our demonstration purposes here, we'll just select the first option, which I think will be the most common option for most people. So go ahead and click Create an Encrypted File Container and press Next. Okay. So now on this page, we want to stick with the first option, a standard Veracrypt volume. For most people, this option is sufficient, and the latter option is much more complex, and I will be covering it next week. So now once you have that selected, go ahead and click the Next again. File, and find a suitable location and name for your file. I'm going to name it Secret File. Okay, and I just put it right on my desktop. And when you're done with this, go ahead and click Next. On this screen, I suggest using the default AES encryption algorithm and just clicking Next because that'll work for most cases. You can get, you know, other options, but I would just stick with AES. On this screen, you need to specify how big you want your container to be. Now, this part is completely up to you and what files you potentially want to store. For simple documents or text files, you don't need much, you know, a few megabytes or whatever. But for videos and pictures, you're going to want a lot of space. My best suggestion is look at the files you want to store. Get their size and then double it, as most files over time with changes will continue to grow. So go ahead, enter a number. I'm just going to use 5 megabytes and go ahead and click next. Okay, This page is very important. Here you set your container's password. Remember to choose something long and that's about 20 characters. Disclaimer. If you ever lose this password, you will lose everything in the container. There is no way to retrieve the password and therefore the files inside of it. So once you have your password figured out, 
click next. On this screen, it is imperative that you move your mouse around like crazy. And as you move, you'll see your random pool changing over time, right? So this is, as you move your mouse, the random pool keeps changing and, and multiplying and getting bigger and harder. So what's happening here is the more you move your mouse, the more random the pool is that your computer's generating. So when you're satisfied, so that looks pretty good to me, you can go ahead and press the format button. Now this will take a little bit of time, but not too much in my case, because again, I'm only making a five megabyte file here. Okay, and now the volume has been created, so you can go ahead and click OK to close that dialog. And you can click exit on the volume creation wizard. Okay, so that's great. Now how do we use it, Kyle? All right, well don't fret. To use this new container, what you need to do is be back at the main Veracrypt screen, okay? Now make sure you select an unused drive letter for your system. So what you can do is you can open a Windows Explorer window or click My Computer depending on which version of Windows you have and you'll see what drives you have listed. So my system is using C, D, and E. So if I come back in here, I want to select, just for example, I can select F because my system isn't using that letter. So I'm going to go ahead and select F. So now what you want to do is click Select File. In this dialog, you want to locate that secret file we set up earlier. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to click Mount. Now it's going to ask for the password, which I know you wrote down, right? Once you have it entered, you can press OK, and your drive will now be mounted, and it will appear on your computer as any other drive, like your C, your D, E. It'll just appear as another system drive that you can double-click and open. So there you go. You can see that's listed now. So if I open Windows Explorer, here's F, and there's some, sp and I have no files, but there you go. So. Again, just as a note though, you can also see that it says 4.71 megabytes free. Remember how I made it 5? So that's just another little warning to make sure you give yourself a little extra space for that encryption because doing the encryption reduces its size a little bit. Now when you're done messing around with the files and the disk, make sure you click dismount down here. So you don't leave your encrypted drive open for anyone else. After all, that's the point of this container, right? Alright guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope this helps some of you out there, and if you liked it, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and a thumbs down if you disliked it. I put out a new video every Saturday, and next week I will be demonstrating how to make a hidden Veracrypt file, as well as, well as demonstrating how to install and configure the Chrome or Firefox extension for KeePass, as well as my review of it. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.